I'm going to show you how you can make your own black hole. Let's start from the top. What in the world does it take to make a black hole? So this right here is the black hole equation, also called the Schwarzschild radius. For some given amount of mass, how small of a volume, the radius, do you have to pack that mass into in order to make a black hole? For example, to make a black hole out of Earth, you would have to squeeze the entire planet into a volume the size of a blueberry. If you were somehow able to do that, that blueberry would be a black hole. Not easy, but pretty simple, right? And we could apply this equation to anything. Let's say we wanted to make a black hole out of a proton, which is already insanely small, about this many meters in diameter. Well then, we'd have to pack it into a volume that's about 10 billion billion times smaller than the Planck length, which is the smallest possible length that physics allows. So a proton is safe, we can't make a black hole out of one. Now what about a human? Can we make a black hole out of you? Given the average person's size, we would need to squeeze you into a volume that's about 0.0000000001 1% the size of a proton, about a thousand times smaller than the current most powerful distance resolution on Earth, which is the minimum amount of distance required in order to differentiate two different objects from each other. So you're also safe. We ain't making no black hole out of you. Let's ramp things up. What about the sun? To make a black hole out of the sun, we'd have to smash it into a sphere with a diameter of about six kilometers. Now we get in somewhere. Okay, cool, but all of this is chump change compared to real black holes. Let's supersize this motherfucker. What about the entire observable universe? Can we make a black hole out of that? Our observable universe is everything in the sphere, with our total universe around it, the parts that are so far away that we can't even see them. The observable universe is about 93 billion light years across, which although huge, is still finite. Given that, some really smart astrophysicists were able to estimate how much stuff we have within this sphere. So we take the total mass of the stuff, the electrons, protons, atoms, neutrinos, dark matter, and a whole bunch of stuff we don't even know exists, totaling a mass of about 10 to the 54 kilograms. We pop that into our black hole equation and find that we'd have to pack that all into a volume that's about 300 billion light years in diameter? About three times the size of our observable universe? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, something don't add up here. Aren't black holes supposed to be condensed into much smaller volumes? Okay, maybe our universe's mass estimate was wrong. Let's take that mass and half it in order to factor out all uncertainties within our mass estimate. That should take care of it. So then, if we wanted to make a black hole out of this revised mass of the observable universe, we'd need to pack it into a sphere that's about 50% larger than our observable universe? Yo, am I tripping or are y'all seeing this? What is going on here? Do we live inside a humongous black hole? Do all other black holes contain entire universes inside them? Okay, nah, 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 run it back, because we definitely messed up somewhere, right? 